Yo, 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 salam, nerds. This is Watch with Neves, a.k.a. Neves, and I'm here with my co-host, Jazz. Say salam, Jazz. Salam, how you doing? What's up, what's up? Today, we are here with a special guest. We are here with Lone Wolf 7. Lone Wolf, why don't you give us a little bit of an introduction about yourself? Hey, salam, Um I'm a gamer, and uh, I was I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash lonewolf7. Uh, I also compete in the fighting game community, and uh, then I joined TikTok to um, support my Twitch, start talking about nerd culture, and then, uh, you know, interest- how I met you, interestingly enough, was I was talking about Hijab and Mystique, and um, That's right. what do you call it? Yeah, and then, uh, you know, met you like that, and then you were also a Bachelor fan, I was like, whoa, so... Um, yeah, so I'm I'm just a general geek who likes to specialize in gaming. I guess that's the best way to explain me. I like how all our guests. I was gonna say like I like how all our guests are like oh how I met Neves. So it's kind of like how I met your mother. It's like how I met your Neves. <laughs> <laughs> I need more friends of mine on this show. Okay? I know, I know. What were you gonna ask, Jazz? Uh, uh, yeah, what other games do you play? Because I know you said fighting games. But I'm just like curious, like the realm of all the games that you're into. So I play like FPS games like Valorant. Um, also, um, what's that thing called? The Blizzard, Overwatch, but, you know, with everything what happened with Activision, Blizzard, I didn't want to cross the picket line, so, you know. Like me. Yeah, so Overwatch, and then, like, fighting games, like, Tekken is my specialty. Like, people keep thinking I play all fighting games. I'm terrible in anime fighting games like Dragon Ball Z, but, like, Tekken is my game. I'm not saying I'm great at it, but I'm, um, what's the word for it? I'm decent. I shouldn't even say decent. I'm, uh... Adequate, adequate. I won't say the word adequate, right? Nice, nice, um, nice. So yeah, and so yeah. speaking of games, do you know what else is a game? The Bachelor. So let's start. Yeah, <laughs> guess what? My favorite <laughs> games, bro. <laughs> let's get started. Let's, let's talk about what's going on. All right. So the way the premise of the show works is Jazz mm-hmm. actually does not watch The Bachelor. So what we do is we basically explain The Bachelor to people <laughs> who do not watch The Bachelor. So that's awesome. the premise of the show. And I feel like Jazz doesn't watch it at all. You're a little bit in between where you don't watch it, yeah. but you know enough about it. And then yeah. me, I am the complete Bachelor head. Uh, I am always up in their business yeah. and in their DMs. I watch it way back in the day like yeah. i watched it way back in the day i used to follow all the instagram and they used to have posts like there used to be a website for bachelor nation and it will tell you like the behind the scenes of what was actually happening it was so cool oh, but yeah. um oh yeah i, I, <laughs> yeah. I am all up in all of them do you know so I, I was telling jazz the other day there is a website called bachelor data and they collect data so like for data science is, is amazing so they'll capture things like how many followers people are getting how much compared to how much screen time compared to people of color compared to white people it's all of this fascinating Dang. stuff it's really really cool that's fascinating also, it's interesting jazz how you start have you started watching it or no, 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 I no. refuse to watch it just oh. for this podcast. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. <laughs> right? I do not watch a single episode. Like, I've never seen See, clips of it. I've seen nothing. You're, a, I feel like you're a great friend because, like, when I was, one of the reasons I stopped watching The Bachelor was because my friends were, like, wouldn't want to listen to me talk to them about The Bachelor. <laughs> but you're like, I'm such a good friend, Neves. I'm going to start a podcast with you and listen to you talk about That's The Bachelor. Right. We, yeah. we started we started an entire show based on Jazz not watching yeah. The Bachelor. <laughs> yeah. My friends were like, Wolf, stop it. Stop it. We can't listen anymore. No, no, no. Yeah. We're, we're going ham. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, ham's not halal. We're going lamb. That's what <laughs> 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 All right. So, basically, last week we stopped off with this whole Shanae and Elizabeth beat, right? With the whole ADD, uh, with the ADHD stuff and all of that. Mm-hmm. So, we stopped and off shrimp. with that. So, basically, if you, uh, for you who don't remember, uh, this woman... Her name is Shanae. She goes by the name Shanae, which is very problematic, uh, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, and then there's this woman named Elizabeth who's super nice, super sweet, you know, and um, she had ADHD. So sometimes when this girl is talking to Elizabeth, she doesn't really pick up on her. She doesn't notice. And this girl get, feels slighted that she, like, ignores her, right? So she was in the pool, and she was talking to her friends, and this girl offered her shrimp, and she ignored her, right? But really, she's like, 
told her like a few episodes ago, I have ADHD. I have a hard time understanding this stuff, like auditory things. Uh, and she got like slighted, right? You know that meme of like Michael Jordan, he's like, and I took that personally. Like that's exactly <laughs> that's exactly what Shanae did, right? So with the crying face as well. Yeah, yeah, with the crying <laughs> face, and it, it was it was wild. And then she just went on like a vendetta against this girl, and she told the bachelor that like. This girl has been bullying her. She's getting everyone else in the house to bully her. And, like, she made up this whole story, which in her head may be true, may not be. I don't know. Um, but one of the funniest things is she – so this woman, um, Elizabeth, she dresses kind of, like, fancy, a little a little high class. So this girl, Sinead, calls her Cruella DeVille. <laughs> I thought that was so funny because she actually oh, looks so. like – she actually looks a little like Cruella DeVille. And uh, I made a in- Instagram post about it, and I was like, you know mm-hmm. what, Cruella was just a misunderstood fashion icon. I don't think I don't think she gets a bad rap because Disney remade the movie, and they made her like the hero, and like she was like misunderstood. So I made a video of her and uh, put the Cruella uh, soundtrack in the back, and she reposted it. She reposted it on Instagram, oh. which was really cool. It has over like three thousand likes right now. It's pretty, pretty exciting. That's nice, yeah, that's, man. And, yeah, so that was that was really funny. It was cool. She and then she messaged me on uh, on um, Instagram. She's like, "Oh, can I put this on my TikTok?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." So I put it on TikTok, and she did like a reaction <gasps> video to it and everything. It was really cool. So I am a hundred percent Team Elizabeth now. You you you, you cannot yeah. sway me. I, I am 100 percent biased. No, I'm I'm Team Elizabeth too now too. Hell I'm yeah, like, man. Okay. Hell yeah. Hell man. yeah. All right, all right. Congratulations to you, bro. Right? Yeah, Team Elizabeth. Everyone here's Team Elizabeth. Let's go. But yeah. unfortunately, unfortunately, Clayton did not see it that way, and oh. she got eliminated. Oh, Clayton, you messed up. I know, bro, I know. You messed up. And the thing is, like, this is one of the weird times where the show gets, like, super real and it's not, like, super fake. So what happened was after he eliminated her, he actually wrote an apology on his Instagram saying, oh, I didn't know how she was being treated. I didn't know she was being made fun of for her HDAD. I didn't know she was getting bullied. He was like, all I saw was things that people were telling me, right? So he actually, like, they broke the fourth wall and he had to actually apologize for eliminating her, which is kind of, like, it's, it's, it's a little weird, which is, like, strange. It kind of takes you out of it, but it also makes yeah. it, like, the fourth wall experience of the entire show, which is pretty exciting. Yeah. Has that ever happened before where, like, he, like, a, any contestant apologized mid-show for eliminating somebody? No, I don't think that's ever happened before. I, I don't mean, think but they have broken the fourth wall before, man. Yeah, so. yeah. So they do break For the apology. They, yeah, yeah they, they they do break the fourth wall uh, quite a bit, and and it's like it's uh, it's like call like the fourth audience, right? There's so many audiences. Like there's the people who are there, there's mm-hmm. the people on television, there's the production crew. So it's like different levels of audience yeah. that they kind of refer to, right? So it's really interesting. And then like there's the the one is like not just the audience watching on television but also the whole social media aspect right social media has changed the way reality shows are like done these days so it's pretty pretty yeah. interesting but yeah she called her Cruella Deville and got her eliminated and she was really really happy about it and and the um, and the internet did not like that whatsoever <laughs> so they were they were not. I still want to give props to Elizabeth though for leaning into the Cruella Deville cuz that was an insult yes and like after she saw your instagram or like during the show, like the fact that she leaned into that insult, yes, yes. I like that. Uh, you Own know, it, and I feel like I, I feel like at, I'm just gonna like as brown kids, we kind of were made fun of before when we were younger, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And like that's such an inspiration. Like, yeah, lean into the insult and own it. And yes. then like you know, it's, it's such a good example. I'm just gonna put it that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that's really what happened there. And here's the thing, right? So um, when I told you guys about how they did this whole shrimp thing, right? This lady made shrimp, and every <laughs> and this girl Shanae, so Cruella Deville, Elizabeth, basically uh, made shrimp for everybody. She made about fifteen. This girl Shanae took about eight. She took eight shrimps, and then she kind of, I guess, she felt bad about it afterwards. So she made more shrimp. <laughs> Jazz is cracking up. And then she, so so Shanae made more shrimp because she felt bad about eating all of this. And when she made more shrimp, nobody wanted her shrimp. Right, so she kind of felt slighted because, right? Oh yeah, I, I, so, I feel that. So they had this crazy blowout argument 
over shrimp. Like they were screaming, there was crying, there was hand holding, like there was a prayer circle about shrimp. And I am not exaggerating. When I do post production, I'm gonna put these pictures in, and you're gonna see that I am not even joking. They literally. I believe you, man. It was so. Uh, and they couldn't believe that they're fighting over shrimp. It was so weird, and I just love it. There's this picture of them just in a prayer circle <laughs> with their eyes closed, and just like it's so funny that this is about shrimp. And it got so far. And then at the end of the episode, um, when all the girls are, I don't know, the producers must have told her to do this. At the end of the episode, before they're getting eliminated, the girl Sinead walks into the uh, room with a plate full of more shrimp. <laughs> God, no oh, oh my goodness. So it became this whole thing called Shrimp Gate. <laughs> it was so it was it was the silliest thing. It's so weird that the silliest things can get so popular on this show. It's just wild to me. Okay, um, wait, wait, I have a question. Yeah, now. yeah. Um How bad was that shrimp that nobody wanted it? <laughs> Yeah, what's the <laughs> white girl not cook that like at all? Listen, man, white people made the shrimp, so I'm pretty sure they were both unseasoned. <laughs> <laughs> there was no masala in there. There was no like. There was no... Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> that, that, that must mean oh, that dude. the second girl, uh, Shanene, What's her real name? I Shanae. can't call her Shanae. It's Shanae. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to call her Shanae. We're not going to call her Shanae. We're not going to lead into <laughs> like, that. No, that's for, I call no. No. Nah. I'm not. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. So, Shanae, that must mean, because, you know, they didn't season their shrimp. So, that must mean she probably left some of the shrimp frozen or, like, uncooked. Oh, right? Man. Like, think about it. What would make white people not eat plain shrimp? <laughs> 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 Yo, she, I'm just surprised they didn't put raisins in their shrimp. <laughs> oh, my God. oh man! <laughs> no, it, but it's also interesting. Like, here, let me ask another question. Since we're on the topic of white people, real fast, in that prayer circle. Were there any girls of color, or it was just, like, yeah. white girls? Uh, I think in the prayer circle, no, but there were some uh, women of color mm. who were defending Elizabeth because they hated Sinead. Oh, yeah. And one of the people that really disliked Sinead is Sierra. Sierra is, like, uh, she's this beautiful... Uh, she's Team black. Sierra, let's go. Yeah, she's, be- uh, she's black and uh, Asian, right? She's a mix. Mm-hmm. And there's another girl named Malena, uh, and she's an, Olympia- she's an Olympian athlete. So, mm, so, wow. so later on, the next date, they had to play football together. So they whooped Shanae's ass. They tackled her so yeah, many why. times. It was so Good. funny. And I, it almost made me feel bad for her, right? No, I, I, no. listen, listen. This white chick's going by the name Shanae. I completely understand if, you know, women of color tackle her. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, I, props I, to you. I, <laughs> Respect. I get it. I get it. Yeah. But it was funny. So basically, uh, Shanae's team did lose, uh, and then that means the other team got to spend more time with Clayton. Right? Yeah. So they get extra time. They get, a, they go to get dressed up, and they have a little cocktail date. And they and, get one rose, one rose on. Yeah, the line. yeah. And one of the girls on on the date gets a rose. Yeah. So this girl Shanae, right? No, Shanae, we're not calling her Shanae. <laughs> this girl Shanae, <laughs> she shows up. She shows up on the date. What? That she didn't win. Oh no! You yes, don't know. Or yes, lose yes. Her. So she, nah. wa- yes. So she walks in, and then Clayton goes, "Um, what are you doing here?" Um, uh, he, and he was like, "Weren't you on the losing team?" She goes, "No, I was on the winning team." She straight up trying to wow. gaslight this guy. She, she lied, to- yo. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, "No, I'm on the winning team." She's like, "I'm gonna gaslight this motherfucker into picking me." So like, it's just so weird. <laughs> Cause that's that's been done before, right? The sore loser part. Yeah. So usually the girls like. I feel really bad. I love you. I want to spend more time with you. So please forgive me for like, you know, coming on this day, even though I lost Mm -hmm. this chick was straight up lying. That's like, that's like a double red flag. Like, dude, my dude, why is she still here? (laughs) The audacity of this girl, like it's, it's wild. And then what happened was like, he, she interrupted somebody else's date and she's like, Oh, I'm going to steal him. And then he said, okay, he said, okay, let this other woman go. And then she, um, uh, basically, what happened was they started talking a little bit, and literally within minutes, they're macking. They're making out. They're, like, hot and steamy. He's, like, throwing her up on, on top of the counter and making out with her, and it just gets crazy. And I'm just like, 
this is crazy. Like, she's not even supposed to be here. It's like that Mean Girls meme. You don't even go here. <laughs> <laughs> Rated PG-13. Yeah, yeah. It was it was wild. I, I'm i not super happy with Clayton macking it yeah. with, with this girl. Um, yeah, she's not uh, even supposed to yeah, be there. Um, hang on. Not even supposed to be there. Who was the um, black girl that tackled? Uh, Sierra. Sierra, I believe. Sierra, Sierra or Marlena. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah. I think both of them actually tackled. At this point, I think they deserve better, and I'm okay with Clayton going with Shanae. Just because they can be miserable together. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Some, some... Oh, we, we should start a um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Start a petition for Sierra and I forget. I didn't hear the other girl's name. Marlena. What? Marlena. Marlena. Um, oh, so to, be the the next, to be the next, to yes. be the next bachelorette. Oh yeah. Right here from Walker Neves. Right here from Slob Nerds Podcast. Heard it first. They should be the next ones. Listen, it would be great marketing too. Like an <laughs> Olympian be a bachelorette. They never had that before, and the yeah. the Olympics are going on right now. It would be amazing oh. if they announced mm-hmm. that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'd be crazy. All right. That'll so, be let's amazing. Let's start the petition. Let's uh, go. I'm, let's start it, guys. I messed with that. Start Oric. Let's go right now. <laughs> Already singing, man. Marlena for uh, for Bachelorette. We're down. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. So Honestly, I, I feel yeah. like I'm, I'm not going to lie. My favorite my favorite right. Bachelorette was, I think her name was Rachel. Um, That's my favorite one. Uh, would this be in politics or women's rights? <laughs> 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 I don't know, man. Rachel Justice. Wait, you know what? Are you Hopefully are you help people? Wait, are you literally going to a petition and making a petition for Marlena yes, to be the next Bachelorette? <laughs> Live here on Salam Nerds. <laughs> okay, how do you spell Marlena? Oh man, I I R L E N A. We we can fix it in post if, it, if we don't spell it. Yeah, we can fix it in post. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't fix it in post. In post. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you make a mistake, we fix it in post. Hold on, let me, let me see. Let me see. Half uh, our episode is so, done in post. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's Marlena. Well, okay, got it, got it, got it. Uh, look at Jazz spell checking and uh, making sure he oh, does yeah. a fact check right. Get yeah, right. like yo, half these change dot org petitions. I'm like, yo. target. <laughs> Who do I put as a target? This is the wildest thing that's happened on the show, <laughs> which is not saying much because we've only had four episodes. <laughs> this, this guy, this guy doesn't watch the it. Bachelor. <laughs> this guy doesn't even watch the Bachelor. I do not, but she deserves better. Okay, <laughs> she does. Yo, yeah. actually, now I'm saying every girl in that show what's right now deserves better. Name? Hold up, what's the Bachelor's name? Uh, Clayton. Um, Clay Clayton. and Tun. Just ins- insert white name. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Carlton. Eugene. <laughs> oh, man. I-, I am going to post this with the episode and see what happens. What if it goes viral? Yeah, what's- really? I hope we do. I hope she does become the next bachelor- Bachelorette. I mean, this sounds amazing. This sounds amazing. Like, it does. Uh, Marlena, I just want to say, even though Jazz made the uh, petition, it was my idea. Gotta get my credit. <laughs> get your credits. Get your credits, boy. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's right. I, I, yo, you already had some contestants reach out to you, yeah, right? Man. You went live with some contestants, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need people to, you know, I need some celebrity, you know, uh, oh, 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 friends. Speaking, speaking of celebrities, uh, <laughs> side point: yesterday, Jen Shaw from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City commented yeah, under that. our Instagram post, which was pretty dope. So shout out to Jen. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Look so, break. I want to go back to um, what do you call it? Breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever watch the first, um, the first episode, the first season of Bachelor in Paradise? Yes, I did. Yeah, I think so. Do you remember Michelle Kajawa? She was kicked off the show, and that's because she hooked up with the sound guy, and. <clears throat> Because they stay at hotels before they come to the beach. And she hooked up with the sound guy. And someone came to knock on her door. And the sound guy jumped off the balcony. And someone from the staff saw what? it. And he broke both his legs. What? Yo, know, just look up. Just look up. Uh, Bachelor in Paradise hooks up with the sound guy. You all know exactly what I'm talking about. No. And the thing is, this was before social media was big, right? I mean, you had social media, but it wasn't as big as it is today. Maybe so I they know. had behind the scenes. So after the episode, they showed it. And the producer, when she was telling the story, she started laughing at her colleague for jumping off the balcony and breaking both his legs. It was hilarious. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. You're right. You're right. You're right. Five questions. I I, so I haven't seen this that season, but yes, I do remember. And I legit thought it was a goof. I thought it was somebody making fun of the Bachelor. I didn't know that actually happened. Yeah, it was the very first Bachelor in Paradise. Cause yeah, cause they stay in a hotel before they come to the beach, and she was hooking up with one of the sound guys, and someone like I think another producer uh, knocked on the door, and he jumped out the balcony to not get caught. But since he broke both his, both his legs. They're like, um, okay. So I think they fired him at the hospital. <laughs> like, I think that's how the story went. <laughs> Imagine being at the hospital and getting a bill and your, like, determination at the same time. You got no health insurance, by the way, now. So. <laughs> you don't got any health insurance. <laughs> I want to know if that's legal. Like, can you fire someone while they're at the hospital? <laughs> Mother Broke the legs doing the job? <laughs> Motherfucker in the hospital signing up for Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. What did he put on the hospital admission form? Would that be valid? <laughs> Coverage terminated halfway. Yeah. Motherfucker trying to jump out the building like he's Spider Man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh my god. That's so dumb, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! All right, all right. Back to the bachelor. I'm like, I got tears in my eyes. Like, <laughs> all right. So back to the bachelor. So the episode basically ends off, and there's some other stuff that happens too. He goes on a date with Rachel, and that was all cute. But we don't care about the cute stuff. We care about the drama. We're here for the drama. <laughs> yes, right. mm -hmm. of course. Right. So there's this cute girl, Rachel. She's a flight attendant. They have a cute date. Blah blah blah. I don't care. All right. Back to Shanae. <laughs> what happens <clears throat> is, so after Shanae uh, breaks up this like group date makes out with this guy, she goes out to confront all of the girls. And, like, so you know how they won this, like, uh, football game, right? So they got a cool little yeah. trophy. She walks in. She goes, you better keep your, you better keep my name out of your mouth and grab the trophy and throws it in the bushes. Like, oh. yes, it was wild. Like, she went, she went bananas. And, like, that's where the episode ends off. So, like, first of all, like, who is this chick? Like, first of all, she's making fun of people with ADHD. Then she's gaslighting the crap out of people. Then she's, like, making out with the bachelor in the middle of other people's dates. Shows up on a date that is for the winning team while she was on the losing team. And then, like, literally confronts everybody and threatens them and throws their trophy into the bush. <laughs> this chick is crazy. And, oh, my the God. Audacity. Here's yeah, two things. Clayton, Clayton Yo. and her deserve to be together. <laughs> I mean, that's all I can tell them. But here's the thing. She was crying in front of Clayton. Like, like, like she was the biggest victim when she was talking about Elizabeth and how everyone in the house is bullying her because of Elizabeth and the whole shrimp thing happened and who was in the hot tub and who wasn't in the hot tub. And, like, she, ha she was weaponizing her white women tears and, like, they yeah. were working because, basically, Clayton eliminated Elizabeth. And, like, yo, man. Yeah. But weaponizing your white girl tears against other white girls is just, it's just a whole different level. You know what I mean? White on white crime. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and what I want to understand is, like, it's like, is big... she doing this for the publicity or is th this is how she is? Because other people can't see her throw that trophy. Like, I, I don't think there's any self awareness. Like I don't know. Like 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 I told Jazz. Like people on the like if you're a decent person or you're a good person, they can make you look a little bad, but they can't make you look that bad. But if you're a yeah. bad person, they can make you look worse. They can make you look as worse as possible. But okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let's say a Daisy went on the show, right? Like first of all, that would never. Like I mean, I'm not saying it never happened, but it, it would be the speak of the no, town, no, right? It'll happen, dude. It'll, it'll happen, but it'll be we scandalous, know girls right? Would go on. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. So you know, it'll be scandalous. All the aunties and uncles will be like, "Stop for love." She's on the show, but yeah, then to throw the happens. trophy, go on a date you're not supposed to go on, and then fight with the girls, take their th trophy and throw it into the woods, being a sore loser like that. Right? Let's say she comes from a family that allows her to go to the bachelor. Or or if it's a guy, it's a bachelorette, bachelorette. Let's say you come from a family that allows you to go on the bachelorette. Then for you to act a fool on national TV so all their friends could see you acting like a fool? Like, bro, like, how do you go back home? Like, and some of these girls come from small towns in the south of America, right? So, like, how do you go back home? I don't no, know, no. They, so, they wouldn't be from... South. You know where they'd be from? This girl would be from Edison, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I mean, I'm talking about the white girls right here. Here's the thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Edison. I know what you're talking about. Like these dancing girls, Edison, man. 
Uh, East Orange Masjid, you know, Route 1 Masjid. I know, I'm giving all the shout outs to those Masjids. But um, what I'm just saying is, even if you're in the, even if you're like from a small town in America, where everybody, because some of these girls are from like farm towns, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where everybody knows everybody. If you act a fool like this, you're going to go home and people are like, people saw you act a fool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where's your like dignity, your self respect? That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, like um, sometimes clout is just not worth it. Yeah. I have a, I have a question. Where are these farmer brown girls? <laughs> well, I was talking about the white girls, but br- listen, listen. Jazz. You know if a brown girl from Edison, like right. Edison, New Jersey you for know somebody, Daisies. Let me know. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll say this. Edison, New Jersey for Daisies are kind of like white girl farm towns. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Wait, wait, wait. First mm, of all, let's it. go back to something. Jazz would like a brown farm girl, and if you are a brown farm girl, please contact Salam Nerds at SalamNerdsPodcast at gmail.com and let us know. <laughs> Until we get Rich the Bros going. That's right. Rich the Bros. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying oh, you got to look out for my bro. I, I don't know if there's a lot of them. The I don't know if there's a lot of them, but if there are any brown farm girls, um, hit your wagon to uh, my man Jazz right here. <laughs> Yeah, let's make this happen. <laughs> let's make it happen. Yeah, I, honestly, I'm, I'm just going to tell the off. truth. I don't think Daisy's got it in them to be farmers. Like, we're just, we're just, whoa, whoa. you know what? I, I, so I, I disagree. Hey, I disagree, man. man. I disagree. Yeah. Like, good Jews, man, they, they're all about farming, man. That's the way Okay, they fair enough. From, right? No, it was, uh, I don't know if you ever watched the first Russell Peters uh, special. Yo, where he was oh, like, oh, where oh, he oh, met. Oh. He's, Everybody's he's watched the first one. <laughs> okay. By fair. the way, by the way. Russell Peters is going to be on this week's Bachelor. He's actually going to be on the what? show. Yes. I, Yo. I, that's so weird that you said that because he's actually a guest this week. And I'm just like, all these white <laughs> white Americans does not even know who he is. They don't even know the <laughs> cultural impact he had on the brown community. And he's going to be on the Bachelor this episode. Okay. Man, he should have been the Bachelor. Russell Peters for Bachelor. Start another petition. Let's go. <laughs> no, no, Jazz. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> uh, I, I'm loyal to my girl Marlena here. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Okay, fair. Uh, fair, fair, fair. fair. <laughs> also, the, ep- the episode is almost up. So, um, basically, that's all that happened on this week in The Bachelor. Do you guys want to say anything else before we end the show? Uh, the change.org petition is live, by the way. Uh, please sign it. <laughs> link on the bottom? Should we, where, where the link go? Oh, yeah, we'll put it on, on YouTube. Don't worry. It's okay, going to be on cool. Instagram. It's going to be on YouTube. We're going to put the link. Like, this is going to be right. big. The link will, I want to the, see her as the next Bachelorette. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. We we want, yeah. we want an Olympian Bachelorette. That's where we're going. Mm-hmm. That's right. Well, she's gorgeous. I just saw her picture. I know. I haven't seen her. Listen. Now you make me want to do my Okay. Listen. Okay. All I'm saying is if I was on that show, she would be taking home more than the gold. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right. Listen, man. She's Olympian. She, she ain't going to go with no like, skinny daisy dudes. Um, oh, hey, man. You never know. You cream. never know. <laughs> anyways that is the end of our episode so thank you everybody for joining us and please tune in next week for salam nerds